good morning. Believers, good morning. Israel, Israel. What a... Heavenly Father, bless the message. Bless my brothers and sisters. Bless your children that hear these messages. Let them have a contrite and humble spirit and come before you in a with a loving, trusting, loyal, faithful heart. We honor you. We bow before you. We exalt you as our King, as our Father, as our Lord, as our Christ, through your Son, your only begotten Son, your, o your only Son. That you gave up for us. And left us the Holy Spirit so we would know what your word means in these last days and forever. So that we can know you better and be in your presence till the end of time. Amen. Um, so, third message. I think I'm going to end up doing two hours a day. It's like. Is that, is that a lot? Not for me. I, I do this all day long. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm listening, I'm searching my heart, I'm searching the scriptures, um, I'm checking things out. It's, it's, it's crazy. I have my interest in this place. He's taking, he's taken everything away from me. I have nothing left here. I, I mean, I have a house. I have family. I have my own ability to check it out and kind of, I have all those things. But other than that, the only love I feel truly is from the Heavenly Father and Jesus um, and the few of you that are here listening and going, I get you, J.D. Nigel. That's why I keep listening. I look and I see 19 views. 19 people were willing to listen to the truth. That's enough. Because I just, I just pump it out. I just pump it out. I don't. So we're talking about hating this world and the difference between these people that are all. I'm going to harpazo out of here and, oh, the Gentiles can't make it. There's, there's no good, there's no good innocent Gentiles. They're all wicked. They're, uh, um, what else says Gabar and these black Hebrew Israelites say things. Oh, the reason you have so much is because God blessed you with it. No, that's the Bible doesn't say that. Er, earthly things are not anything. If he gave you earthly things, he's given it to you to, to share with other people. It's to me, some of these things are so simple. I don't understand why people don't get it. <laughs> a lot, some people do. Um, a lot of people don't really, really, really don't. Like one of my customers over here, this is a good example of what, what is fucking wrong with this place. So the woman I work for, a woman named Maureen, um, one of my friends, Weirdest thing. I could tell you the whole backstory is like strange in itself. But anyway, um, one of my friends knew the guy that, that rented a, a little apartment there in this beautiful neighborhood right here on the beach. And um, since I'm here all the time, this is my this is my home. This is my neighborhood to a certain extent. I'm here all the time. This is, I lived here for 40 years. But anyhow, she's dying. She, she had a rough upbringing. She really rough upbringing her mom and and her had nothing for a long time she was a she was a um what do they call them orphan for a while and so she ends up in this beautiful house on the beach she married the right man she's and she had two of her sons die, have died
sad as shit. Guys my age that are dead now. They're not around. So there's two daughters left, I think. I'm not sure who's left, but whoever is left is just circling around that house waiting for her to die to grab to grab everything from it but they won't pay me $40 $50 a week to come over for a couple an hour or so and make sure everything's trimmed make sure the flowers are growing make sure the patio's swept make sure the the back area is the sands why the sand down here is is brutal plenty of plenty to do plenty of maintenance every week because of the sand and the wind um besides plants grow crazy out here because of the weather and but anyhow it's a good example of this the way this world thinks uh, very selfish it's it's to me and my buddy mike the one that hired me and i was working for a long time we are not only hurt by their inability to help us help her, we're sickened by the reason they won't help us to help her is they don't care about her. Why would they care about us? They don't really care about her. They're just there to suck up whatever's left over. So let's get back into why we hate this world. There's a fucking good example of it. And I've seen a lot of that too. I've never asked for more than my, um, I've, I've basically taken less than what I was worth most of my life. You get, when you get there, the Lord's going to, if, if I'm an example, it's part of my example is going to be, there's going to be a, a, a tally. Everyone's going to have a tally. What did you take that you shouldn't have took? And what did you give that you should have took, that you could have took? I'm going to be an example of someone who served. Watch. So hating, hating. If he hates me, he hates my father also. So how do we know that GMS doesn't really... Is it really true to this thing? Sometimes I wonder if these guys listen to me. Because I notice their, their messages are kind of changing. <laughs> they, won't, they won't change that Joseph is the father of Jesus thing. They don't, they, they don't walk over there anymore. Because I think it's actually getting through to them. But they're having a hard time. <coughs> Spitting it out. He that hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now have they both seen and hated both me and the father. But this comes to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in the in their law. They hated me without a cause. I'll let you deal with that one. What you, what you, what, what does that, I'm not going to try and explain that one to you. That's why I was just saying, why, why do they hate, why do they hate Maureen? These vultures that are trying to get the money. Why do they, why do they hate Mike? Why do they hate me? Because they hate my Lord. They don't understand. They're getting ready to receive all these gifts from the world. But when the Comforter is come, when I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth, Word of Truth, the Spirit of Truth. That's why my channel is called Word of Truth. Um, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me, and you shall bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. Why Why do I get to do this? Why, why should you 
Why could you? Why do you listen to me? Something in your spirit's going, he's of the first fruits. I've been with him from the beginning. This isn't nothing new to me. This isn't some Johnny come lately fucking Hebrew Israelism. I just woke up and realized who I am thing. Yeah, that happened to me about 20 years ago. But probably every regeneration, there was a time when I got to be 40 years old. I keep saying 20 years. I'm, I'm thinking, damn, when I hit 40, that's when a lot of shit changed. And then we could, you could go back to the number 40, Solomon, 40 years reign. David, I looked that up yesterday for you folks that if, caught me when I was saying, did David reign for 40 years? It was actually um, 40 years and six months. <laughs> it was um, seven, seven and a half years and 33 years or 33 and a half years and seven years, seven years in Hebron where Adonijah was born, where me and Absalom and a couple of our other brothers were born. And, um, 33 years in Jerusalem where, um, Solomon was born, our other brother. Um, John's saying the same thing. Um, this is more proof that there's no friggin' harpazo. It's not, it, Jesus is saying it. I ba basically what they're saying is the same thing. Um, you know how the, the John, Mark, Luke, Matthew, they all kind of say the same thing because they, they were there. They heard it. These things have I spoken that you should not be offended, that they shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time comes that whoever killeth you will think they're doing the service of God. And these things will they do to you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you when the time come may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you from at the beginning because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asks me where, where I'm going. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow has filled your heart. What does he mean by that? Sorrow has filled your heart. Benjamin is in you now. The Holy Spirit, that's what it's talking about, the Comforter. But when the Comforter has come onto you, what? who's the Comforter? It's the spirit of prophecy. It's the spirit of the woman in travail for her children who are not. Rachel, Benjamin, Benoni, son of my sorrow, son of my pain in my ass, son of my thorn in the side. Son of my sorrow. And because I have said these things unto you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. For if I, for it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I don't go away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Him, J big Judah. The Holy Spirit's a him, you dumb fucking nigga. Fucking hate that guy. Man, these wicked niggas out here. The Holy Spirit, who is wisdom, who is the Mother Earth. What? I, I skip past that part whenever I listen to his messages. I can't stand it. Um, he will come to reprove the world. Let's go to another one. So we did Matthew, we did John, we did James. Let's go to Psalm 69 and see what David has to say about hating the world. I need a friend, I think. I need someone to push me to get out in the water and someone I can talk to that is down here more. Oh, I'm, 
either that or I gotta hang out with my buddy Gary some more. Just, just drive. Just go get it. Go get it. Go get some friendship. 69, Psalm 69, sorry. A cry for help. <sighs> to the chief musician upon the Shoshanin, a Psalm of David. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. What does soul mean in the Bible anyway? That's that's always been an interesting word, huh? What is my soul? That's what I think for me, that's what your soul is what props you up in this world through the spirit. Your soul is the manifestation of what your spirit's doing. So when I'm doing these lessons, I'm doing it with soul. That's what's that's what you see is my soul. Um, 69.1. Wow, that's interesting. Really? What do you think it means? What do you think it means in that? Save me, O God, for the waters are coming in unto my soul. Have we, have we talked about Benjamin being on the shoulder of the Lord, dwelling in safely? That that was the blessing that Moses told. That was the prophecy that he told about Benjamin. He will dwell safely on the shoulder of the Lord all the days of his life. In safety and in security or something like that. So the soul right here means neck. The waters have come up to my neck. Right up to my shoulder. What What's the shoulder connected to? The neck, right? It's come all the way up to Benjamin. I... I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary of my crying. Salakia. I'm weary of this. What is it? What is this? This is me here. Talking to you on the phone, listening to the doves, wanting wanting God more than anything and not getting him. Wanting understanding more than anything and not getting it. Wanting some wanting some respect and appreciation so that the blessings will flow to those who are that way, like you. People that are listening. It's a good thing to be here. Um, the, the key verse is the next one. They that hate me without cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being my enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. There you go. What did I just say about taking the hit? Do you see? You you see what's happening, roommate, right? <laughs> you see how that works? What did I just say in the last? I don't know. Was it this message? Last message? There's going to be a tally. You think God's not tallying this shit up? He knows your heart. Are you a greedy piece of shit? All about you? Selfish? Fuck. Do you have no loyalty? Will you just go wherever the wind blows you if it looks good? I mean, I don't even like to talk about the, the wicked side. It's It hurts to even go there. Are you going to lie just to... to be a cop? Are you going to be a cop and be a fucking liar when you're supposed to be protecting people? Are you going to actually hurt people? Are you going to be a judge that um, follows 
the rule of law that throws innocent people in jail and doesn't let them have their rights? Are you going to be a politician that sells out your country to it, to fucking China or whoever else, Russia, and pretend that you're all in with your brothers and sisters? Or are you going to fucking work with your hands and be a gardener and give people all the love and, and you could break yourself down, give everything to your family, your wives that hated you? How's your tally? How's you? How's it going to tally out, folks? Some of you, some of you, are probably don't like this message because you're like, "Fuck, he's talking about me." Hopefully not. This is this is this is as close as you get to um, direct warning. Fucking warning, you people! You greedy, fucking selfish niggas. You think I hate you? You think I got you think I have a, a bad a, a bad taste in my mouth from this fucking shithole? <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait till my lord comes. You see, and when you see real anger, you're gonna go, man, JD Nigel was was a lover boy compared to, to Jesus. Yes, I am. I'm a soft, sweet guy, but I'm pissed. This place, this place is fucked up. What's it say? Let me read it again. I. That's why I talk, and then read scripture, and then talk and read scripture, because the Lord does things before your very fucking eyes. And I don't mean to be a dick, but. You can't see it. You can't see that I know what I'm saying. And it has it has depth of meaning because I'm looking at you in the camera. I'm not scrolling through a bunch of... I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to speak to you. Not on a pulpit. Not on the corner. Right here, face to face. Trying to get through to you. And so is the Lord. What did I just say? There's going to be a tally, right? Do you take the hit? Remember that. Do you take the hit? Or do you hit back all the time? No, I'm waiting for my Lord to hit back. I'm weary of my crying. My throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. How's my eyes look? What's he saying? We're getting, we're going to get old. He's going to leave us here. He's going to make us suffer all the way to 80 years. And then if we're lucky, we get the hell out of here. Can you imagine this guy going another 19 years? I can't. They that hate me without cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me being my enemies wrongfully are mighty. Who is that? The narcissist? The last the first ex-wife, the second ex-wife, the neighbor, the landlord, the fucking Johnny come come rolling up on you with the fucking black and white with the lights on top, the politician, the greedy uh, Coke executive, the AI fucking technology, all of them. They got the strength here. They're devils. They manipulate the material world with no respect for the spiritual. Let me say that again. They manipulate the material world for their own selfish gains and have no respect for the spiritual. So when I say, when I speak to you and I look at you on the camera and say, I know things about the spirit, people. My brothers and sisters... Brothers and sisters. Pato Bantan, check it out. Um, then I restored that which 
I took not away. What's it say about took not away? 69.4. Did not steal. Then I restored that which I did not steal. Then I restored that which I did not steal. Why do you think I, why do you think the Lord's with me? Anybody know? Because I wait on the tithe. I wait on that tenth. I know it's mine. I know I have that coming to me. My, my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and my daddy, David, it's all in the promise. I, I believe I'm loyal to the promise. I'm loyal to the promises. All right. Well, I don't know what's going on out there. Um, I think I'm going to just go ahead and do the last message. Um, because I like this subject, I think I have three more scriptures, so I could probably do one more message. This is important, important spiritual lessons, people, right here on why we hate this fucked up place. I'll be back. I'll do one more. I love you, believers. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Please, please. I'm begging you now. If you, if you heard this message, just subscribe. You don't have to listen to me all the time, but when you subscribe, other people who might want to listen to me will get to find me. I'm out.